the lower energies are dissolving away from your increasingly higher dimensional bodies and spirits at this time, and we of our Pleiadian collective wish to extend our most heartfelt thanks and appreciation for all that you have done in the name of assisting the Earth with her ascension. Each one of you are a part of a collective who, below the surface, realizes the need to begin changing the way you have been treating yourselves and your planet but at the surface, the pervading density and the extremes of darkness seem too much for the inner realms of humanity to break through and garner the resulting understanding in the people who would be shocked by what you have all known deep within all along. We are here before you all to offer our love and assistance, and we will be assisting you when our presence can be openly accepted on your world, with rebuilding the condition Gaia has been in. This has, of course, been expressed and will continue to be because the work we are performing for you all extends much farther than much of your world realizes, understands or accepts. The fear that has been spread about us in your recent society is breeding a subconscious and unrealized fear of us within the minds and hearts of the majority of your Earth Collective, and because of this we are unable to detail much of what we are doing for your planet, because the very active role we are playing in the ascension of your Earth is so strong that the majority of your world would not wish to believe it is so. Many would wish to believe that we are fooling humanity or that our motives are anything other than what they are, and those fears and apprehensions could be turned up to extremes if all on your world knew of the active role we are playing in helping lift humanity up out of the darkness. For example, while the art of many of your ancient civilizations suggests the plentiful contacts we have made with various civilizations on your world, Many souls at present would not wish to believe that we have contacted you as many times as we have and would point to the seeming non-contact from us in your current day as proof that we have never contacted you or that we are not around your planet in the mass numbers we now are. Each facet of the Galactic Federation is looking upon your world and while there are many moment-by-moment -moment responsibilities and duties for us each to fulfill, the ascension of the Earth has long been our top priority because as you have heard, Earth's ascension is to kickstart and aid exponentially in the ascension of so many other planets and realms. What you are doing on this Earth is incredibly heroic, for you are not just uplifting a collective who has subconsciously wished for an upliftment for so very long, you are also uplifting various planets and even galaxies whose ascensions are not riding on the that of the Earth, but will again, be aided enormously by it. We ask you dearest souls to treat yourselves lightly if you feel that all you are working for is for naught or if you feel as if the light forces assisting in your ascension are not with you in the manner that we now are. We will begin showing ourselves to many of you who have committed yourselves to us and have placed your faith in our existence, as we are finding an increased ease in doing so as your cabals are truly on their last legs. This truth has been spoken to as well and as the cabals find their influence diminished more and more as do the energies and entities that have driven them, the light energies increasingly see the chance and easy ability to move in and begin shaping the perception of your world in ways that allow for an uninhibited and free experience of light. Every soul on your world will realize so much about the way your lives work and the mechanics that drive the manifestations and events playing out in your lives every day and one crucial area of discussion will be that of how the collective energies and what is manifested on the world stage in every moment is based upon the individual energies being given out by each one of you dear souls, who are living cells upon a planet being affected vastly by everything that occurs on her surface. Gaia's energetic framework is purer than ever with the light energies being given out by a growing fraction of the Earth Collective and while so many souls are still entrenched in the darkness and density that has held your planet and your collective back, those of you who have committed yourselves to radiating the light energies are paving the way for the collective to better grasp and understand the need for and importance of establishing a sovereign future for a sovereign humanity. You are all free souls, and there is nothing inhibiting your freedom. While attempts to do so are imposed upon you, you are protected endlessly by universal law and every soul who has been a victim of unjust actions in the name of established laws that have only benefited the few on your world will gain redemption from and retribution for their experiences. The cabals thought themselves able to create a world that works only for them, but they have now seen that their goals in creating and establishing their empire upon the surface of an ascending planet will not play out in the manner they had intended. They will see and many of them are seeing that rather, the collective of Earth is to rise up and initiate change with each other as the energies of the higher realms pervading your collective consciousness at present are seeing to it that matters don't play out any other way. 
so many souls on your world who see the increasing need to put forth change and do anything they can to spread the message of putting forth change, will continue to gain influence as every one of you see the importance of establishing your new paradigm, as so many have called it. You dear souls are right to refer to your future and present as a new paradigm in progress because indeed, you are creating a new way of living for every soul on earth to benefit from enormously. The fact that you feel a drive to assist further commits you to your roles and with the higher realms and we souls of the higher realms on your side, truly nothing will stop you from achieving your goals. We wish to bring to reality, the good that you are doing and spreading out at this time for truly, dear souls, every single person on your world is to find the lightning vibrations, because of your actions, in their own ways. As the collective vibrations are lightning increasingly in the manners they now are, the formerly boggled up minds, hearts and spirits of every soul on your world will be replaced with the natural understanding and light that you all truly possess and can feel within, it is simply that you have been led to forget about this connection and those of you who are sowing your higher dimensional experiences for yourselves have long begun to interact with this connection and benefit from it, as your entire world will be in the time ahead. You will begin to notice us in your skies and as your media too finds an increased ease in reporting our sightings in a positive or at the very least, neutral, manner, the influence of us souls who only wish to assist and help you develop already understood advanced technology that will benefit your planet enormously will spread and the scary alien culture that has been fed for so long will make way for a culture of understanding our presence and welcoming us to your planet. We are not forcing you to welcome us, of course but when disclosure breaks and your entire world begins to benefit from a new financial system that will not be based in debt and will rather be based in personal freedom and abundance for every person on your world, our role in helping your earth to find the lightened vibrations will be explained in depth and this is why we anticipate the collective of humanity welcoming us to your shores and your ground once again, as you have done many times. In many past lives, we feel and know you are heading into a bright future, and the star seeds and incarnate wanderers who have sacrificed so much of themselves in the name of assisting are facets of the light forces who are helping uplift the earth. Each of you who are incarnated unto the surface of the earth feel that drive, that commitment, that conviction that you are still feeding and employing wonderfully whilst within your earth suits. How does it feel, knowing that you have achieved your goals immensely, even in this moment? Truly the ascension plan for the earth could not have gone any better and as so many on your world will begin to see, feel and understand, the light energies are not going anywhere, nor are we souls of the Galactic Federation of United Planets who assist lower dimensional civilizations in their evolution. Rather, we will all continue to make ourselves known increasingly, as will the light energies pervading the minds and hearts of so many of you and helping you to gain that needed positive perspective that will see you able to act as conduits for supremely wonderful and amazingly pure source energy. This is indeed the role of many of you who are led to this communication and we will continue to encourage and attempt to inspire you, so that you can give forth the purest and most wonderful of lighted energies. So many of you have allowed yourselves to take on the energies of negativity and hatred so that you could act as conduits for those energies as well and transmute them through yourselves, feeding them into Gaia's grid of light and changing their very components from negatively driven to positively driven energies. As you do this, you take on a strong weight that can remain attached to you when you do not realize it is so, and this weight can remain attached to you if driven or fed by latent anger or habit patterns you have held within that are fed by experiences had in past or current lives. The experiences had that drive these tendencies have hurt the souls who do not realize such tendencies are still lingering beyond the surface, and entire reactions and habit patterns have been built over the suppression and non-surfacing of the pain or experience. This has been discussed and termed as vasanas by many and the transmutation work so many of you are performing can be much more difficult if you are still grasping onto subconscious tendencies driven from pains that you do not realize could be affecting the weight of the transmutation as much as it could. Your vasanas will in no way inhibit the transmutation work you are doing, as you are meant to do this job at this time and for many of you, it is your very reason for being on the earth as you are acting as transmuters so that the light energies can be given further that aforementioned opportunity to pervade the influence of the collective energies and frames of perception. While not inhibiting your transmutation work, these held away subconscious pains will again, 
serve to reinforce and feed the heavy weight of density and negativity that could be bestowed upon you dear souls when performing your transmutations of individual and collective dense energy. A wonderful truth that so many of you do not yet see or realize is that a multitude of higher dimensional souls are around you at all times, and we will come to you at times in the form of an orb that you would not expect to see in a photograph or permeating your vision. We have appeared before our scribe during his meditations and at other times, in the forms of orbs and open portals that are meant to represent the opening third eyes of all of you at this time. Those of you whom, when meditating, seem notice a portal or cloud of energy opening up before you are experiencing a visualization representing the literal opening of your third eyes. Essentially, this is a sign that you dear souls have made it. You will be able to perceive of us, your guides and your etheric lands in a much greater depth and clarity, and you will be able to take the knowledge and insight you are gaining and uplift so many other souls into opening their third eyes and, just as importantly, their hearts so that every soul on your world can access and feel the brimming energies of the higher realms. Judging by the reactions of many of you absorbing this communication, it seems that this is a future you would like to move into. This is why we encourage your continual actions in anchoring and bringing forth the light, for you have no idea of the good you are doing or of the heavenly etheric landscapes you will be able to access and help the entirety of humanity to access, as you all enjoy your unfolding higher dimensional experience. Bold and blatant initiations into your unfolding higher dimensional experience will begin and continue to grace you all and while it feels for many of you at the time of this communication as if you have reached a point of bleakness or energy drainage along your paths, we say that you are only regaining energy and resting after the powerful energies of December 21st, the New Year, the 111 and the 122, and you are now bracing yourselves for yet another plentiful round of intense activation. Energies for you to absorb and assimilate. Many of you can feel the higher dimensions awaiting your realization of them all around you, and we ask you all to be strong knowing that you are able to perceive of so much more than the majority of your societies would have you believe. There have been purposeful dense limitations and barriers set up around the collective frames of perception, and these barriers are telepathic and physical in nature. We ask each one of you reading this communication because indeed, you do all possess very strong power within to individually aim the most lighted and pure of energies you can at those very collectively instated and fed barriers, every single day of your lives. In doing so, you will even further make way for the increasingly pure source energies gracing your world and helping so much of your society to see the light. We mention this action and humbly request you put it into play because of its importance at this time. The lower dimensional barrier that is finding its influence diminished in every moment needs to be dissolved and transmuted fully so that your entire collective can themselves remove the weight of the density and intense lower dimensionality that has weighed them down and clogged their chakras. We issue a call for each of you to bless the barriers of perception that have held your planet and all upon it back, for the lighted perspectives you are finding can be easily accessible for the entire planet. Can you imagine, dear souls? everyone around you possessing the positivity and assurance of the higher realms that you possess. We have, of course, spoken before of the necessary individuality and uniqueness of each one of you and the wonderful thing is that this uniqueness and individuality can be expressed in a collective fashion, along with the energies of positivity and an understanding of the higher realms. Each one of you are individual beautiful souls and you can express your individualism in a myriad of ways in the higher dimensions and everyone on your planet will indeed be united in the one common purpose of bringing it into the light after those aforementioned veils are dissolved and you find yourselves able to collectively perceive through a clear and undistorted lens. Your chakras will continue in their processes of opening up and you will continue to absorb and assimilate energy that will leave you reeling at times, and we wish to send you all the purest love we can muster up in hopes that it will be used to help the collective of humanity to dissolve the veils and barriers of the lower dimensional experience. Your cabals have attempted to feed these barriers and keep you feeding them, and we say this in response to a mental question poised to us by our scribe when we mentioned this. Much of the perspective of the awakening humanity has been rightly put toward exposing and demanding truth from the cabals and the souls who are perceived to have run things on your world, and we remind every soul reading this to embrace the light energies and not to give too much of your focus and energy away to exposing the cabals or letting others know of all that they have done because indeed, 
awareness is crucial to be spread but it can be spread through a lighted temple, and by a person. With a positive perspective who will help to uplift all around them, even while giving and exposing truth for the entirety of humanity to benefit from. You can all step to the plate if you feel it is your role to do so at this time, and begin helping the collective of humanity find the truth and pervading higher vibrations forming your initiation back into the realms of the fifth dimension, and from the fifth dimension you will be completely limitless in your growth and ability to learn lessons and develop yourselves further into the shining creators each one of us truly are within. Your experience is just beginning, dear souls, and we ask you to remember this as you go about your daily lives and face the difficulties that attempt to temporarily cloud your perspectives and keep you feeding the disintegrating grid of darkness and density. You will continue to be pumped with the pure energy of Source as you rediscover this energy in every facet it is being given, and those of you who are on the earth and in charge of disseminating and decoding the higher dimensional energy you're being given, will begin to feel our specific energies in much purer forms and as many of you have wondered or worried if we are aspects of your higher selves or thought forms based within your consciousness, we will begin to show you that this is not so. And that we are in fact, fifth dimensional beings who are of our own united consciousness with humanity and the rest of creation. 1. We specifically are Pleiadian beings residing within the fifth dimension at present. As we help humanity to evolve back into the realms of the fifth dimension, our own growth will be aided tremendously and we will further heighten our goal of assisting all of creation in finding the higher vibrations of Source, as we are now doing with you dear souls on the earth. Many of us choose to express ourselves in the form of human bodies, but many of us choose to express ourselves as spirit energy who will continue to make ourselves known to you dear souls if we do not anticipate fear on your end, of our presence. For example, I am making my presence known to our scribe whilst he is channeling my communication and my energies, and we are able to do this in an effort to help you dear souls realize that we of the higher dimensions truly are and have always been with you. We know and can feel that so many of you have wished and do wish for blatant signs of our presence around you, and we say that these signs will indeed begin to be given as you dear souls increasingly open up to them. We do not want to raise hopes or expectations and are making no concrete predictions, but the vibrations humanity as a collective is moving into that are again, being aided tremendously by each one of you light workers, will see the energies more allowing for us to be made known on your world than they are at present. We look forward to the collective of humanity absorbing the disclosures and the many truths we have for you dear souls as while we are looked toward in a fearful manner at present we can anticipate that much of humanity will in the end be thankful for our existence on and around your world indeed we are not looking for thanks we are helping you because of our strong strong drive to assist any lower dimensional planet who has been struggling in the lower realms they had created from the higher dimensions Countries will begin to come together as humanity awakens, and you will all see and realize that the separation once rife on your world has no place in the collective energies of peace, harmony and understanding you are moving into at this time. The flow of higher dimensional energies will be felt within each one of you and as you further open up your chakras and discover the other chakras you have but did not realize you possessed, your links to the higher realms will become so strong that, like us, you will become the higher realms. You will merge with the realms of enlightenment, and your perception in every single moment will be just as happy, positive and fulfilled as ours is. This perspective can never be broken, and the energies of separation and darkness that would attempt to break them are not prevalent in the higher realms. This is why the lower energies cannot survive in them, and will find themselves transmuted back into pure source energy. As we make our final impressions for this communication, we express much positivity for all that is to occur on the surface of your world. Days, weeks and months are not literal or relied upon markers of your concept of time for us in the higher realms and truly, we can see your new earth and you all already as you are working to bring your collective vibrations back into the light. We can see this already and this accounts for much of the positivity we are able to express, as do the lightened perspectives we have in every single moment. We know that your ascension is playing out successfully and if you could have our perspectives, you would be fully convinced of this yourselves. Thank you to Sanjaska. Wesonok.com. AquariusParadigm.com. 1.
In my case, Sanjaska actually is an aspect of my overall higher self. The referenced part of this message was referring to collectives and individuals who are channeled and are not a direct part of the higher self of the channeler. For example, the Pleiadians can be channeled in a collective or individual fashion, as can the Syrians, Arcturians, Andromedons, Ascended Masters, Hathors, I could go on and on. They do not have to be a part of one's higher self to be channeled. 